Hey everybody! I'm back and today I'm going to be filming a makeup tutorial um, which I'm really excited about actually because I've done this look a couple of times and I really really like it. It's really pretty and I think it is quite summer appropriate. So I'm going to be doing an ocean inspired eye look. Um, it's going to be focusing on the eyes so I'm not going to do a huge amount of like blush or bronzer or anything like that. Um, I'll just have like a basic face base and then the focus will be on the eyes. So I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and yeah I hope you um, enjoy the video and let's get right on into it. Yay! So I've already washed my face and moisturized and next I am going to be using the NARS Pro Prime um, light optimizing primer with SPF 15. And after that's all blended in, I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Argan Wear BB Cream, which this I've been really loving lately. I've been using it every day and this is in the color light. This one I find I don't really need very much at all for my entire face. Like that's as much as I use for the entire face. And it gives quite a good coverage. This actually might be a bit too much for my whole face. just gives a really nice smooth even complexion I find and it feels really nice on your skin which is always a bonus. Next to start off my eyes I am actually going to be using the Body Shop Matte Kajal um, eyeliner pencil. It's actually an eyeliner but I like to use it as a eyelid primer. Um, I find that it really brightens the eyeshadows that you put on top of it because it kind of just mattifies your eyelid makes it a um, blank canvas for the eyeshadow to really pop. So I'm just going to do a thin layer all over my eyelid. You could really use any white eyeliner pencil or even a concealer pencil. All you really want to do is just mattify the eyelid Eyeshadow, I am going to be using this palette here, which is Sephora's, um, one of Sephora's Disney Princess palettes, and it is the Jasmine one, and I am going to be using these three colors on the side here. So there's Blue Oasis, Friend Like Me, and La Pie. But before I put the blue eyeshadow on, I'm actually going to put um, the Body Shop 002 uh, Shimmer eyeshadow all over my lid. And I'm going to be using the Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush. I really like this brush a lot for blending and just getting all over the eyelid. So now I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to go in with Blue Oasis, so that was the top color here, and I'm going to put that from the inner corner, kind of blending towards the center of my eye. I'll just pat a little bit off of the palette here, not too much, pat a little bit off. Okay, 
so now we've got the light blue in there. So now I'm going to go in with my crown brush, my C476 crease and shadow brush, and I'm going to be using the um, fluffy end. <laughs> and I am going to be going in with the mid-tone shade, which is this one here, Friend Like Me. And I'm going to put that kind of in the center of my eyelid. I'm going to use one of my Eco Tools eyeshadow brushes um, for the last color, La Pie, this color down here. And I'm going to put that in the outer corner. And I'm going to kind of draw up the start of a wing that I'll follow with my eyeliner. <laughs> and that kind of gives a nice shape for the kind of an extended point to your eye. And then I'm going to go back with my um, Paper blending brush, yeah, that's what it's called. And I'm gonna go back to the lightest color, the Blue Oasis, and I'm just gonna take a little bit and I'm going to blend everything together. Starting from the inner corner. I'm also gonna bring some a little bit down here. So that's the finished eyeshadow. Now I'm going to go in with my eyeliner, which is the Body Shop Bold Oversized Felt Eyeliner in black. And I really like this one because it is a felt tip applicator. If it wants to focus. And it's really easy to do a winged liner, so I really like it because of that. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> And like I said earlier, I'm just going to follow this line that I made with my eyeshadow and that's going to make a really nice, clean, crisp um, wing that uh, kind of is cohesive with the eyeliner, or with the eyeshadow. Finally, to finish off my eyes, I'm going to be using Benefit Roller Lash, which I have really been liking this mascara, as it seems like everyone on YouTube is liking this mascara, but it's just really good, so I'm going to finish my eyes with that.
So those are the finished um, eye look. Um, and like I said, I'm going to just do a sim really simple um, face makeup. So all I'm going to do is take my Anastasia Contour Kit palette and I'm going to take the shimmery, oops, you can't even see that, um, the shimmery highlight shade. So this one right here, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to put some of that on my cheekbones. Just to add some depth to my facial features and a bit of shimmer. And then finally, um, just to add a bit of like a mermaid-esque, ocean-y vibe to this makeup look, I am going to be using the Bite Lip Gloss in number 4. This one is from the Watercolor uh, Lip Gloss Gallery thing, and this is like kind of a light lavender purpley color, and I'm just going to apply that across my lips. And this last step that I just I just thought of it right now, so it's something you could add on, or you could just keep the look like this, which I really like. I like this, but I just thought of something that could even add it to um, elevate it to that next step of mermaidness, <laughs> um, and that is a little bit of glitter eyeliner um, just along the eyeliner that you already have on. So this one is the Body Shop glitter eyeliner, just a simple silver glitter eyeliner. You could use any brand. It really doesn't matter. And I'm just going to apply a little bit across the eyeliner I already have on. That's my finished ocean slash mermaid inspired makeup look. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, as always, give it a big thumbs up and I would really appreciate it and let me know if you try out this look because I've really been liking it lately. Um, and yeah, let me know if you like it and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Bye!